In last class we have seen set operations and joins. Today we will see some additional operations. We have discussed selection, projection, then renaming operation, set operations and joins. Uh, these are the basic operations. With these basic operations we may not meet uh, all query requirements in commercial applications. For that our relational algebra adds some additional relational operations which are generalized projection, aggregate functions, recursive closures, outer joins and outer union operations. Some of the frequently used operations but which cannot be achieved by using the basic relational algebra operations. These additional operations can provide such kind of uh, additional requirements. One is the generalized projection. Generalized projection operation extends the projection operation by allowing functions of attributes to be included in the projection list. In normal projection operation, projection attribute 1, attribute 2 like that you, you can select some attributes from the relation R. In this projection you can include some mathematical functions here. This is the generalized projection. It is uh, just projection with some mathematical functions. F1, F2 are the functions over the attributes in relation R. May involve arithmetic operations and constant values. This is the general form of generalized projection. Projection f1, f2, fn these are the functions on relation R. Suppose one table with this schema employ SSN salary deductions these are the salary deductions and years of service his experience. We want to calculate net salary which can be calculated by using salary minus deductions and a bonus 2000 into years of service and a tax tax will be calculated 0.25 into salary this is the requirement so we need to retrieve this uh, net salary bonus and tax we need to calculate this net salary bonus and tax from this employee so here we can use generalized projection uh, the relational algebra query will be project ssn salary minus deductions this will give the net salary 200 into years of service it will give the bonus 0.25 into salary on relation employee but here we want a rename for this expression salary minus deductions as net salary so we can use rename operation here this salary minus deductions will be renamed with net salary 2000 into years of service it is bonus and tax will be calculated based on this formula this is the generalized projection operation the equivalent sql query can be written like this select ssn salary minus deduction space net salary or you can use alias naming as with as keyword salary minus deductions as net salary comma 2000 into years of service bonus 0.25 into salary renamed as tax from employee table this employee table is not from our company schema this is the employee table we are assuming here suppose if you want to apply this centralized projection on our employee database schema only salary in the employee table so uh, we can calculate only tax we do not have any years of service and uh, reductions in the table so we select ssn comma 0.25 into salary which is the tax from the employee and let us see another query uh, so the resulting salaries if every employee working on the product x project is given 10 percent rise means their salary should be increased 10 percent for this sql query will be select f name l name their new salary will be 1.1 into salary here this is the 10 percent rise multiplied with original salary so you will get new salary from employee comma works on comma project means uh, here uh, we need to uh, join this employee and projects uh, works on table will contain the uh, ESSN and P number means uh, this works on relationship joins this employee and project so we need to use these three tables in order to get a result for this query here we have three tables so you need two join conditions one between employee and works on and another one between works on and project see here employee and project we have works on here within this works on ESSN which is foreign key referencing SSN in employee table so to join this employee table and works on you need to use this foreign key and this primary key so this is the one joining condition another one is works on with project this P number is the foreign key here which is referring the primary key in project so this 
this is the another joining condition ssn from employee table and essn from box on this is the first joining condition and joining condition between box on and project p num equal to p number in project but we want to give raise for the employees who are working on product x project so project name is product x so this is the generalized projection means here in projection we have some mathematical function aggregate functions and grouping another type of request that cannot be expressed in the basic relational algebra to specify mathematical aggregate functions and collections of values from the database in our previous queries uh, we do not have any specific uh, functions which can calculate something based on some set of values for example if you take the retrieving the average salary of all employees or total number of employee in the employee table common aggregate functions are sum average maximum minimum aggregate functions works on sets and will produce one value as output and set of values suppose if we take the salary these are the salaries of all employees within our company schema employee table here suppose if we want to calculate uh, average salary to calculate average salary it needs to consider this entire set of salaries and from that it will calculate average salary the result will be a single value find the sum of the salaries of all employees comma the maximum salary minimum salary and the average salary in relational algebra aggregate functions will be denoted with script f this symbol is called script f uh, there is no specific standardized symbol for this aggregate functions in relational algebra some books might use uh, something like uh, z Uh, some books might use some different other symbols here we are using this script f script f sum this is the function here sum of salaries maximum salary minimum salary average salary this is the relational algebra query for this query equivalent sql query will be select sum of salaries comma max of salary min of salary for average salary avg of salary from employee table then result will be like this sum of salaries will be 281000 maximum salary 55000 minimum salary 25000 and average salary 35000 and 125 each and every aggregate function will give single value as your result total salary this is the single value max salary also it will return single value this grouping function can be used in combination with this aggregate functions mean suppose if you want to find the average salaries based on department suppose average salary of department 5 employees average salary of department 4 employees and department 1 employee like that for example to get the or uh, to group the employees tuples based on d number each group includes tuples from employees working on the same department for that we can list each d num value along with the average salary of employee within the department or the number of employees who are working on the department we can define aggregate function operation using the symbol script f like here we need to use this aggregate function list if you want to group them based on some attribute you need to include that grouping attribute left side of this script f symbol this grouping attribute list is the list of attributes of the relation specified in this r this function list is the aggregation functions let us see some queries find the number of employees and their average salary It means we have 8 employees in employee table so we need to count this rows how many employees are there here you should get 8 and their average salary for all this 8 employees what will be the average salary uh, this query is based on aggregate functions here script f count ssn or you can use count star also script f count ssn comma average of this salary so it will take this set of values and it will calculate the average values for this and i said uh, this would be the our result here eight employees are there so count of ssn will be eight and average salary will be this one 35125 dollars if we modify query like this for each department retrieve the number of employees in the department and their average salary here we need to calculate 
number of employees in each department uh, suppose if you have departments 1 5 and 4 then we need to count how many employees are there in each department in department 1 1 employee in department 5 4 employees and department 4 3 employees and for uh, all these three employees in department 4 what would be the average salary like this if you want to retrieve information you need to use this grouping script f count ssn average salary by grouping um, based on department number on this employee table uh, equivalent sql curve will be select count of ssn comma average salary from employee group by department number whatever the attribute you are using in group by you should include that in the selection list here d number should be included otherwise you will get only these two columns count ssn and average salary but you don't know for which this average salary belongs to let's see how this query will be processed now this is our employee table here all these employees belongs to three departments department one department four and remaining employees department five first all these employees will be grouped based on this grouping attribute department number entire table will be divided into three groups employees who are working for this department number one employees who are working for department number four employees working for department number five these three groups will be divided on this individual groups average salary will be calculated for this department one group there is only one employee so his average salary would be the same 55,000 for this group department number four group average salary will be calculated based on this three values so average salary will be this for the department number four group like that it will be repeated for other group also department number five in this we have four employees so count of employees will be four in this department number four we have three employees count will be three and in this first group department number one only one employee is there so count of employees will be one let's see same query with renaming operation retrieve each department number the number of employees in department and their average salary while renaming the resulting attributes if you see the previous query result count of ssn actually this is the uh, number of employees in each department and this is the average salary if you don't rename this uh, aggregate function it will give you average of the salary like this only but if you want to give some meaningful name then you can rename it by using renaming operation so let us do that here count of ssn this is the number of employees so we can rename with renaming operator row of t number comma number of employees and average salary for this average of salary equivalent sql query would be select d number count ssn number of employees average of salary this is the aggregate function you can rename with average underscore salary from employee table group by d number then your result will be like this here you have new attribute names number of employees and average salary for each department retrieve the number of employees in the department and their average salary gender wise see here this grouping is based on one is department and again gender wise relational algebra query will be like this the script of count ssn average salary on this employee relation group by department number within the department number again based on gender select count of ssn rename with number of employees and average salary rename average underscore sal from employee group by d number comma sex this d number and sex is not asked to retrieve but you are including this in group by class so you need to add them in the select class see here we already seen employees group based on department number we have three groups because we have three departments so department one and department number four within this department four again you need to group them based on gender these two employees are female employees so 
this will be one group within this group department number four this is the one subgroup this is another subgroup like that in department number five these two employees are female employees and remaining two employees are male employees so here also you have two subgroups this is one subgroup and this female employees another subgroup now average salary calculation would be based on the subgroups see here average salary for department one employees this is only one employee is there so 55000 in this second group see here average salary for the female employees will be calculated based on these two tuples now average salary for this department number four for the female employees is 34000 for the male employees only one male employee is there so his average salary would be again 25000 for the department 5 you have two groups one male and another female so for the female employees 32500 for male employees 34000 let's see another query for each project retrieve the project number project name and the number of employees who work on that project here we want project number and project name you require this project table and number of employees who are working on that project number of employees can be calculated based on SSN values you, you don't require employee name so just you require this box on within that box on you have ESSN and another one project number and number of hours will be there so based on this ESSN you can calculate number of employees so uh, you need to join these two tables and the joining condition would be within the project table you have primary key P number within the works on table you have this P num is the foreign key which is referring the primary key of this project P number so you need to use this joining condition P number equal to P num then uh, these two tables will be joined based on this joining condition uh, wherever the this project number matches with the P number within works on table all those tuples will be retrieved and all the attributes from this project table and works on will be added in that new table from that new table you need to retrieve this project number and project name p number comma p name comma here we want number of employees who are working on that project so uh, this is the aggregate function here for each of these projects you need to count the number of employees number of employees might be working for single project so you need to count that employees based on this project number and project name this is the grouping attribute here equivalent SQL query would be select p number p name comma count star you can use even count of ESSN count star means uh, it will count the number of tuples from project comma works on tables here we have two tables where p number equal to p num group by this project number and project name grouping attributes here we use this uh, cartesian product for this joining operations if you want to use uh, this kind of uh, inner join then you can specify join here j o i n if you use join here inner join here you have to use on on p number equal to p num before oracle 99 this kind of syntax using for joining tables after 99 you have this kind of joins instead of this cross product you can directly specify project join box and on p number equal to p number p number equal to p number